I'm Rachel Hoff. I'm Communications Director and Policy Advisor for John McCain at the Senate Armed Services Committee. My name is Brian Frizzell. I'm an active duty Army officer slated to take command of an infantry battalion. My name is Bryce Aspeland. I'm an analyst for a consulting firm, primarily terrorism, a little bit of transnational crime. My name is Anna Waterfield, and I'm a research assistant for the House Armed Services Committee. My name is Lieutenant Junior Grade Mark Jabelli. I'm a student naval aviator at Naval Air Station Pensacola. The Climate Center is a place where national security policymaking, history, and scholarship intersect, building a platform to get young people into positions of policymaking in Washington and further the university and the center's uh, engagement in that community. There's funding opportunities, there's academic opportunities, you can pursue a certificate as an undergraduate in national security studies. So just a lot of programs designed to foster the next generation of national security leaders in public service. It's a center that is not only uh, for research. I see it as bringing scholars in the field of national security history to the University of Texas for further scholarship. I went to Georgetown for an undergrad and I don't think we had as many policymakers even just coming up to the hilltop as Common Center has managed to bring here. And it's really a fantastic opportunity. We have breakfast with them. We have special speaker series. Sometimes they come and visit our own classrooms and then a couple excursions every semester as well. It allows you to really pick the brain of an expert, somebody who's already walked a mile um, in some very difficult situations and made some critical decisions. It allows us to see all the ways in which we can apply our skills. I think what I learned most that's applicable to my current job is how history, strategy, and statecraft really come together to inform policy. The conscious use of history is a great way to inform and guide decision making. And the Clement Center brings that all in a very digestible way that can have impact for policymakers in a variety of fields. I would definitely describe the Clement Center as more than just an academic center on campus. I've asked the staff to review my personal statements or write letters of recommendation or help field ideas for my research. The Clement Center specifically gave me research dollars to help me fly to Washington, D.C. and conduct doctoral research as I was writing my dissertation. So the Clement Center has been a huge part of my academic and, and professional development over the past several years. I think it is instrumental in giving students the professional training that they might need in order to find some of the high quality, high level positions influencing national security. I know Will Imboden, our director, was tremendously helpful with my own career and my own appointment and has really led this center in an exciting direction. I think the student programs at the Clement Center help students achieve their goals because of all of the resources and opportunities that the Clement Center provides. Through the Clement Maymester program, I was able to study abroad in the UK. I mean, it was not theoretical. You're there, you're seeing it, you're being inspired. Clement Center helped me a lot by building a community of people who were interested in asking what I think are the really important questions of war and peace and society. And it's this ability to tell the diversity of stories and put them together in order to help us to better understand the past. And I firmly believe, and this is what I think the Clement Center showcases so well, uh, the fact that understanding that past better will help us to make a better future. Men and women come to the University of Texas looking for a way to give back to their country. And the Clement Center is that avenue to get into a career field where we deeply need professionalism, where we deeply need uh, people of integrity. And the Clement Center is able to provide that to their students as well as to the community here in Texas.